The history of the British royal family spans centuries, and its evolution is closely tied to the political and social changes of the times, from the medieval monarchs to the present day House of Windsor. The British monarchy has endured wars, political upheavals, and cultural shifts. In this video, we will explore the history of the royal family, focusing on key moments and figures that shaped its development. With a more detailed look into the current family, the House of Windsor. The origins of the royal family can be traced back to the Anglo-Saxon period, when England was divided into separate kingdoms ruled by various chieftains and warlords. The first king to unify these disparate regions was Alfred the Great, who reigned from 871 to 899. He established a system of law and government that laid the foundation for the English monarchy, and his descendants would go on to rule England for centuries to come. The Norman Conquest of 1066 marked a significant turning point in the history of the royal family. William the Conqueror, a Norman duke, defeated the Anglo-Saxon king, Harold Godwinson, and claimed the English throne for himself. This marked the beginning of the Norman dynasty, which lasted until 1154. During this time, the monarchy became more centralized and powerful, and the king's authority was strengthened by the introduction of a system of common law. The Plantagenet dynasty, which followed the Normans, was one of the most influential in British history. It began with Henry II in 1154 and lasted until the death of Richard III in 1485. The Plantagenet kings presided over a period of significant political and social change, including the Magna Carta in 1215, which established the principle of the rule of law and limited the power of the king. The most famous Plantagenet king was undoubtedly Richard the Lionheart, who led the Third Crusade and was known for his military prowess and chivalry. The Tudor dynasty, which followed the Plantagenets, is perhaps the most famous in English history. It began with Henry VII in 1485 and lasted until the death of Elizabeth I in 1603. The Tudor monarchs presided over a period of great cultural and artistic achievement, including the works of William Shakespeare and the construction of iconic buildings such as Hampton Court Palace and St. Court Palace and St. Paul's Cathedral. Henry VIII is perhaps the most notorious Tudor king, known for his six marriages and his break with the Catholic Church, which led to the establishment of the Church of England. The Stuart dynasty succeeded the Tudors in 1603 with the accession of James I of England and the Sixth of Scotland. The Stuarts presided over a period of significant political and religious upheaval, including the English Civil War and the Glorious Revolution of 1688, which saw the deposition of James II and the installation of William and Mary as joint monarchs. The Stuarts were also notable for their patronage of the arts, including the works of William Shakespeare, Ben Jonson, and John Milton, the Hanoverian dynasty succeeded the Stuarts in 1714 with the accession of George I. The Hanoverians were a German dynasty that ruled over Britain until the death of Queen Victoria in 1901. During this period, Britain became a global superpower with significant expansion overseas and the Industrial Revolution at home. The Hanoverian monarchs were also notable for their patronage of the arts, including the works of Handel and Mozart. And this is where we get to the current royal family, the House of Windsor was established in 1917 during World War I. At that time, King George V changed the name of the royal family from the German sounding house of Saxe, Coburg and Goethe, the more English sounding house of Windsor. The change was made to distance the royal family from their German heritage, as anti-German sentiment was high during the war. George V was the first monarch of the House of Windsor, and he reigned from 1910 to 1936. During his reign, he oversaw a significant political and social change in Britain, including the women's suffrage movement and the growth of the labor movement. He was also a staunch supporter of the British military and played a key role in mobilizing the country during World War I. George V was succeeded by his eldest son, Edward VIII, in 1936. However, Edward's reign was short-lived as he abdicated the throne just a year later in order to marry American socialite Wallace Simpson, who was divorced. His brother, George VI, then became king, and his daughter, Elizabeth, would later succeed him as Queen Elizabeth II. George VI's reign was marked by significant challenges, including World War II and the decline of the British Empire. However, he was widely respected for his dedication to public service and his commitment to the welfare of the British people. His reign also saw significant cultural change in Britain, including the rise of the youth culture and the advent of popular music. Queen Elizabeth II ascended to the throne in 1952 and has since become the longest reigning monarch in British history. During her reign, she has overseen a significant social, cultural, and political change in Britain and the world. She has also been a figurehead for numerous philanthropic and charitable causes and is widely respected for her dedication to public service. The House of Windsor has been involved in numerous scandals and controversies over the years, including the divorce of Prince Charles and Princess Diana, the death of Diana in a car accident in Paris, and the recent decision by Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, to step back from there. 
duties as senior members of the royal family. However, the family has also been a symbol of tradition, continuity, and national identity for many people around the world. The House of Windsor has also been involved in numerous philanthropic and charitable causes, including the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme, the Prince's Trust, and numerous other organizations dedicated to education, the arts, and environmental sustainability. The family's dedication to public service has helped to ensure their continued popularity and relevance in the modern world. On September 8, 2022, Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom, and the other Commonwealth realms and the longest reigning British monarch died of old age at Balmoral Castle in Scotland at the age of 96. 500 heads of state and foreign dignitaries were present at the funeral ceremony, which was attended by 2,000 people in total. She is succeeded by her oldest son, King Charles. Charles's eldest son, Prince William, is now first in line to the throne. Like his father before him, he's been granted the title Prince of Wales, as well as Duke of Cornwall and Cambridge, and William's wife, Catherine, is now Princess of Wales.